Let's start by talking about the signs and symptoms of lymphedema and of infection, the things that you need to be aware of if you are at risk for developing this condition. If you have had any cancer treatment in which you have lymph nodes removed or have had radiation therapy that affected lymph nodes, you may be at risk for developing lymphedema. Lymphedema can also be caused by the cancer itself. Lymphedema is a chronic condition. If you develop it, you will need to be aware of your risks and manage it for the rest of your life. Lymphedema is the accumulation of fluid and tissue. This causes swelling, most often in an arm or leg. It's very important to know the signs and symptoms of lymphedema. It is also important to recognize the signs of infection. People with lymphedema are at higher risk of developing infection as a result of the damage to their lymphatic systems. The early signs of lymphedema were the swelling of my leg. The oncologist promptly recommended that I go to pen therapy for physical therapy as well as uh, wearing the proper doc, uh, garments. The first sign of lymphedema is usually a feeling of heaviness or tightness in your arm or leg. You might notice some swelling or have problems wearing clothes or shoes. In some cases, you may feel numbness or tingling. If you press your finger lightly into the swollen area, it will leave a mark or indentation. Most people don't feel any pain in the early stages of lymphedema. It's more a feeling of fullness or achiness. We aren't talking about the normal swelling that follows surgery as the wound heals. That usually resolves within days or weeks. This is persistent and often not close to the surgical incision or radiation therapy site. In the early stages, the swelling sometimes goes away at night. If you are concerned about swelling after cancer treatment that doesn't go away or comes back, or develop any of these signs and symptoms, heaviness, tightness, numbness, or tingling, you should contact your doctor right away. For a more complete description of how the lymphatic system works, go to section six of this video. You should also remember that you know your body better than anyone else. Be alert to changes and indications that lymphedema could be occurring and call your doctor if it happens. People with lymphedema are much more susceptible to infections and need to know what to look for. And be sure to take quick action if you notice any of these signs and symptoms. Skin that feels warm or hot to the touch. Redness or a rash at the site of the injury. A fever of 100 degrees or higher. Infections can be a serious problem for anyone, but they are more dangerous if you have lymphedema. Here are the key points to remember. If you have had cancer treatment that removed or damaged your lymph nodes, you are at risk for lymphedema. The early signs of lymphedema are usually a feeling of fullness or tightness. Pain is not usually an early symptom of lymphedema. You need to be aware of your increased risk of getting infections in the at-risk area and know the signs and symptoms. Call your doctor right away if you develop signs or symptoms of lymphedema or an infection. For more detailed information, visit penmedicine.org slash lymphedema. I hope you have found this video helpful. Remember, if you have any questions about lymphedema and its treatment, talk to your doctor, physical therapist, or nurse. They want to help you.